A U.S. Army veteran and former paramedic who lost her sight is breaking social barriers and stigmas for the blind. Sean Sheshire made a stop in Roanoke this morning while cycling from the Pacific Coast to the Atlantic Ocean. WDBJ 7's Rachel Schneider has the story. An epic ride from sea to shining sea began on May 17th in Florence, Oregon, when Sean Sheshire started a 3,800 mile journey biking to Virginia Beach totally blind. I lost my uh, vision from a traumatic brain injury while working as a paramedic in the back of an ambulance. I don't remember the accident. Now that I'm blind, um, no longer sighted, there's a lot of things that um, there's these thought processes of what blind people can and can't do, and I don't like that. I don't want to feel like I have to live a limited life because I'm blind. In the 10 years since she lost her sight, Sean represented the USA in the Rio Paralympics as a tandem cyclist. She also became the first blind woman to complete the double crossing of the Grand Canyon in 2018, setting a world record. Now she's riding with her friend Jesse, guided by the sound of music playing on the back of his bike, with another truck following behind them. Communicating with two-way radios, the team describes everything in Sean's path. They think I'm nuts. <laughs> Not, you know, it's a, it's a mix of I'm crazy to they can't believe it to they are so excited. It's a great feeling. I, I really haven't had an opportunity to think about it too much because it's such a hard focus while I'm out here because I literally take it one day at a time. I don't think about yesterday and I'm not thinking about tomorrow because in its entire capacity, it's too much and it's hard. Despite not having vision, Sean chooses to see beyond the limits of her blindness. I just want to encourage people to not live limited. I truly believe that self-belief is a superpower. I think that would be my message to people. They've got to believe in themselves. We had just 10 minutes to talk to Sean and her entourage as they made a stop here on their way to Virginia Beach. She says if they keep going at the same pace, they're expected to get there and complete their journey this Thursday. In Roanoke, Rachel Schneider, WDBJ 7.